core is one, and I can hold the tide. Hey everyone and welcome. We've all seen our open borders have brought with it some extreme individuals rampaging our streets. It's also brought mass grooming, low wages, no homes, no jobs, lack of adequate health, school places, etc. We've also seen fake politicians claiming we need immigration, we don't have enough workers, etc. They say. We've also seen them all, to the man and woman, promise to do something about it and their subsequent failures to do so. This, in my opinion, is by design and I'll explain why later, everyone. Well, they can pretend it's all diversity is our strength and deny any issues all they want. The ONS facts, the Office for National Statistics, are in and it's very, very damning to say the least. Before we get into this though everyone, I do need your support. So please, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you want to keep track of everything that I do, go and check out the website. I'd love to see you over there. Broken Britain. Rapes, sexual offences, violent crimes are at the highest level since records began. Now, is anyone surprised by this? Anyone? No, I didn't think so. Let's list the increases, shall we? Police recorded crimes, including rape and general sexual offences and violence against the person, have hit an all-time high since comparable rec records began in 2002. During Tony Blair's leadership, I might add, fully 6.3 million crimes were recorded in England and Wales, this is excluding Scotland obviously, and Northern Ireland, in the year to March 2022, a double-digit increase of 16% on 2021, according to the ONS. I wonder how many of those saw justice? How many victims saw justice? Wouldn't surprise me if it's quite low. So-called high harm offences appear to have increased even more sharply, with homicides up 25% and sexual offences up 32% to an astonishing 194,683 offences. Now let that sink in, ladies and parents. That's a 32% increase. 32%. This is in one year, not since 2002, just in one year. This includes the highest number of rape offences is yet recorded at 70,330. Do you feel safe yet, anyone? Knife crime was up by a comparatively modest, this is comparatively modest, 10%, that's modest nowadays, to 49,000 offences, with the ONS noting that all forms of knife-enabled violent and sexual crimes increased with the sole exception of attempted murder. This will be in part due, in my honest opinion, to how the cops record, record crimes, or try not to report crimes, I should say. The authorities seem at times to to be strangely reluctant to acknowledge actions that very much resemble an attempt to kill as an, att as an attempted murder. As in the case of Afghan career criminal who forced a teenager to the floor of a public bus and held his neck back and drew a bladed article described as a steak knife across his neck. But was only prosecuted for, are we getting this, wounding with intent. Now how is that not attempted homicide? See what I mean about how they record the crimes or not record the crimes? Would that be set the same for us or would we have the book? thrown at us everyone. Let me know what you think about that one. It almost feels like we're seen as the easiest to arrest with UK citizens ancestry, doesn't it everyone? So they do just that. 30 word crimes and non-crime hate crimes. Prime example. I'd like someone to do an FOI for freedom of information request to find out racial makeup of people on the list personally. I bet it's all, all one-sided. Against us and for the criminals, obviously. Crimes of violence against a person in general increased by 18% to 2.1 million. Police recorded crime shows that indications of violent offences returning to or exceeding levels seen before the pandemic. S offences recorded by the police were at a highest level recorded within a 12-month period in the year ending March 2022, a 32% increase from the previous year, he emphasised. So this is a 32% increase from 2021. Just in a year, it's gone up 32%. Are we getting worried? Are we not getting angry at this point? And here we see the real tactics of the justice system, in my opinion. Better recording and more people coming forward, as opposed to to society becoming increasingly lawless amid a breakdown in social cohesion is often trotted out as an excuse for worsening crime statistics by politicians and officials alike. So they're actually just saying it's not us doing this, it's better cops. We are doing a good job, honest, really. That's how they're playing this. They're effectively saying it's because we're doing a better job than we used to. Okay. All of these massive rises in extreme crimes, everyone, are also on the back of the most shocking news of all. And that is, 7 out of 10 cops in the UK's biggest police force 
failed to make a single arrest in one year. That's 70% of the Met Office failed to make a single arrest. There's 32,493 offices in the Met Office, and I guarantee this is probably going to be the same across the board in all of the major cities. GMP's grooming scandal, for an example. We're being fleeced in taxes to pay for cops that work against us all, if they bother working at all. Now, there's no link in this article on what else started to dramatically increase in Tony Blair's 2002 when recording began. No mention at all, they never do. Politicians, in my honest opinion, don't want to and won't stop mass migration. Not a single one, because they'd all lose a major campaigning tool. It's that simple. Keep us angry, you keep us divided. Keep us divided, we have to play their game. Now, I'm not saying before you get all shirty-shirty that this is the only reason, but the numbers stack up and the, the increase stacks up with the increase of population. It's just a statistics game, isn't it? Now, polls have consistently raised immigration as a problem since 2007, so for years. A Murray poll in 2007 said, asked what the most important issues facing Britain were and has consistently re recorded immigration among the public's top concerns. The most recent figures from two April 2007 showed immigration to the put to be the public's second most important issue behind crime throughout this period but particularly from 2001 labor put migration of the, at the center of its energetic legislative 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 program in a 10-year period under blair's stewardship labor passed four migration related parliament acts laws and a fifth parliamentary bill a draft law is still currently in final stages of approval now this is under labor that this started but it hasn't slowed down any with the Tories. Both of them use migration as a campaigning tool and nothing more. These politicians will never fix it in my honest opinion. They'll just keep pushing it down the road because then they've got something to campaign on when they get to the general elections and the low. It's as simple as that. Your safety is irrelevant to their lust for power in my honest opinion. Well let me know what you think. I'd like to know your opinion. Pretty, pretty disgusting this isn't it? But completely expected. Stay sane everyone. I'll see you on the next one.